Namaste and a very, very good afternoon to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mathun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to import a text file using Microsoft Power BI. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to import a text file into Power BI, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Firstly, what you're seeing in front of you is the interface of Power BI. You can see here, this is the data section. In the data section, the first button here is the get data button. When you hover the mouse on top of get data, Power BI displays the description of this particular button. It says it helps you connect to data from multiple sources. So we will be using the get data button that is present in Power BI to access a text file. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how it works, let me show you the source file. This is the source file which I want to import into Power BI desktop. As you can see here, the name of the file is customer data. The first row here consists of the variable names. There are different variables like age of the customer, marital status, the number of years that he is spending at the current address, what's his income, income category, car, car category, so on and so forth. When we are working on a text file, we need to be slightly careful. Unlike a Excel file, which is very, very easy to import here, we need to make two important observations. What are the two important observations that we need to make? The first observation is to ask yourself a simple question as to what does the first row contain? As you can see here, the first row consists of the variable names or the field names like age, marital status, address, income, so on and so forth. So this is the first observation that we need to make. The second observation that we need to make here is what is the delimiter that separates two fields? As you can see here, the delimiter that is used to separate two fields is a simple tab. So this is a tab delimited file. This becomes very, very important because at a later stage, when you're importing this particular file, Power BI would ask you the nature of the delimiter. If you're very clear with the nature of the delimiter, it becomes easy for you to specify the delimiter to pull this file into Power BI. So this is a data set which has approximately 1000 records. Let me scroll down. I've got a healthy sample size here. And when I look at the number of fields, I have at least 20 plus fields. So how do we import this particular field? How do we import this particular file, namely the customer data set into Power BI? To import this particular file, let me first go to Power BI. As I mentioned earlier, you can use the get data option to pull any file, to pull any external data set inside Power BI environment. Let me click on the drop down menu. You see multiple items here. In this section, Power BI displays the common data sources that you can access the data from. Let me go to the option text file. If you hover the mouse on top of text file, Power BI gives a short description of this particular feature. It says, import data from a text or a CSV file. Since the source data is in text format, I can choose this particular option. Once you click on this particular option, you can see here, there's a new window, which is called as the open window. This allows you to navigate to the source file destination. In my case, the source file is in desktop. There is a folder which is called as training data folder. I've clicked on this particular folder. 
the name of the file which I want to import is customer data. So this is the file which I want to load into Power BI. Once you specify the file name, you can go ahead and click on the option open. Once you choose the option open, you're able to see Power BI gives you the preview of the file. So this is the preview of the file. You can see here, you have the option of file origin, delimiter, and data type detection based on the first 200 rows. So what Power BI has done is it has scanned through the first 200 rows and it has identified that this is a tab delimiter file. You can click on the drop down menu. In case your source file has any other delimiter like colon or comma or equal sign, you can specify the appropriate delimiter. In this particular case, I would go with the default option of a tab delimited file. These are the field names, age, marital status, address, income, so on and so forth. And the data is present from the first row onwards. You can see here at the bottom right hand side corner, there are three options. One is load, second one is transform the data and the third one is clean. You can choose the transform data in case you want to clean the data, remove the null cases, or in case you want to rename the variable. However, that is beyond the scope of this particular video. I'd go ahead and simply click on the load button. As you can see here, Power BI is trying to import the particular file. If there are no error messages, that are being displayed, it means that you have successfully loaded the source data into the Power BI environment. Where do you locate the file? As you can see here, under the field section, to the extreme right side, there is what is called as a field section. Here, Power BI displays the name of the file which you have just now imported. So congratulations, we have imported the file into Power BI without much difficulty. To display the variables that are present in this particular file, you can go ahead and click on the file name. The moment you click on the file name, you can see here Power BI displays all the fields that are present in this particular data set. It could be address, age, caller ID, call waiting service, so on and so forth. You have a lot of variables here, all the variables are being displayed. As a next step, you can select any of these variables to create your first visualization in Power BI. As you can see here, the variable gender does not have any icon next to it. Why is this? This is simply because Power BI has recognized that the variable gender is a categorical field. Since the variable gender is a categorical field which has two categories, namely males and females, it is being displayed without any icon. However, when you look at some of the other variables like income category, or for that matter, even income, income is a good example here. When you look at income, there is a summation icon here, which means that this is a scale variable, or you can refer to this as a numeric field. The summation icon is an indication that for these variables, we can go ahead and use any of the aggregate functions like total. We can take the total salary or the average salary. We can take median or mode. We can use other metrics as well, like standard deviation or range, so on and so forth. So with this, what we have done is we have successfully imported a tab delimited file into Power BI. I have come to the end of today's video. I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.